Hello, and welcome to the Naval Battle tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to host network games of Naval Battle. But first, we need to make sure our settings are correct. We could enter our player name here, and then we'll need to enter the server IP. If you're hosting, you can just enter localhost. Naval Battle will tell you what your IP is so that you can tell it to your friends so that they can connect to the game that you're hosting. So, once we've saved all those settings, we can then enter the Internet Lobby. The Internet Lobby is where you can talk to other Naval Battle players and then host or join games. Let's try hosting a game. So we can set the game name and then pick a map. Today, I think, Twisted Metal. We'll leave it at two players and click OK. And now we're at our fleet selection screen. So first off, we have to choose an Admiral. An Admiral gives a constant fixed bonus to all the statistics of the, all the ships in your fleet and can give a temporary more powerful bonus when his ability is activated. Further, we can select uh, the ships in our fleet. So we can click on a ship to see its statistics and its weapons information, and then click Add to add one of those ships to our fleet. So we'll add a handful of different ships to our fleet, and click Finalize Selection to move on. This is the Waiting to Start game screen, where we will wait for all the players in the game to finish selecting their fleets. In this case, there's only one of us, so we can just go ahead and start the game. So now we have the Naval Battle main game screen. And now we're in the ship placement phase. So we can see we have a list of all the ships that we have purchased and how many of them we have to place. So to place one, we just have to click on the but on a button for the ship, and then we can move the mouse around to move the ship around. We can also right-click to change the orientation at which a ship will be placed, and then left-click once to place it. Notice that if part of a ship placement is illegal, the offending tile will be highlighted in red to help you correct the error. Alright, so with that said, let's go ahead and place the rest of our fleet. And now that we've placed all our ships, we'll go ahead and press the Start Game button to enter the main game. Now, first, notice at the bottom left of the screen, we have the Naval Battle Minimap, which gives you a larger view of the game world. This map can be scrolled as can the main view of the map. Now, if we click on a ship to select it, we'll see, first off, its statistics appearing in this area at the bottom of the screen, and then some buttons to indicate the various actions it can take, which usually are moving and attacking. If we click Move, we'll see all the tiles that it can move to highlighted in green. And once again, we can right-click to rotate the orientation. So let's go ahead and move our carrier here. And now we see that we have all the carrier's weapons appearing in the command card area. If we mouse over one of these weapons, we'll see the attack range for that weapon highlighted on screen. And if we click on one of these weapons, so let's try the long-range shell here, we can then mouse around and a tile will be highlighted in green indicating which tile will be affected by the attack. So, let's try attacking our hapless scout. Oh dear, it seems we've destroyed the scout. So, naval battle will continue until there is a victor, that is, until all other players are destroyed. At the end of the, uh, once you've finished moving or attacking with all your ships, your turn is over and you can click the end turn button to move on. You can also click it at any time if you no longer wish to do anything with your ships. This will start a new turn. So, finally, we look at the Naval Battle menu. We have several options, including save game, surrender, if you want to end the game quickly, game off, and game options. Game options include toggling a grid on the map, full screen mode, changing the game resolution, and toggling the background music and sound effects. And of course, we can resume the game or exit Naval Battle. This has been the Naval Battle tutorial. Hopefully it has helped you to un better understand how to play Naval Battle. Thank you.